Welcome to Africa in your movement. Today I want to talk to you about the Africa we want. From the past, we have our heroes who have shown us the Africa that we are looking for. We have in our past our heroes, such heroes like uh, Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, we have Jomo Kenyatta. Arambe uh, of Kenya, we have Cha 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 by Zambia, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. We have within ourselves the capacity uh, that shows we can do something great in Africa. We can make Africa great. And then what are some of the important points that we can look at? If you want to make Africa great, first and foremost, we must be food secure. We must eradicate poverty. And this, we are, we are saying in Africa we have arable land. We have enough resources to feed ourselves. But because we have not put in place the policies uh, that support our, our countries, to have a food basket that can enable us to feed ourselves. Africa must rise to the challenge. We have enough resources of edible land, we have livers, lakes, vitamins to tackle food security. We must begin not to depend on rain. We can have irrigation in all the places across Africa. Africa has enough water to do irrigation so that each country can have a food basket. That means we have surplus food within the continent and we are able to export uh, uh, the remainder of our food to other countries. Africa that we want is an Africa where we don't lack food. We don't want a Africa where poverty levels are way above normal. Africa can eradicate poverty because within itself there are resources that can enable us to move above and beyond uh, diseases like malnutrition because within ourselves we have the capacity. So it's time that the governments of Africa should put policies. When we are talking agriculture, we are talking commercial agriculture, not only subsistence farming. Because subsistence farming in Africa, where our brothers and sisters are producing just enough food to, to feed a, a small population of people. But the government of Africa must invest in the agricultural machinery in Africa so that as days and years goes by we begin to feed ourselves. Africa can feed the whole world. We have the capacity. We have the capacity to feed the world. It's time that the governments of Africa sat down and put policies. Invest in the youth. Invest in the women who are involved every day in agriculture. Invest uh, in universities that are uh, dealing with agriculture, put courses there that our African brothers and sisters in school can be able to, one, make machinery. We should not be importing machinery from out of Africa. African university students must be able to come up with ideas on eradication of poverty. And we have within ourselves the capacity First of all, to start with agriculture, the world needs food and Africa can take that advantage to feed the world. The next part that we, we should invest in is in our education system. We must run away from the education system where uh, we are told what to do. We must develop within ourselves systems, looking at our capacities, looking at uh, the surroundings that we have. What is it that Africa can do and begin to develop? We must invest in our research. 
so that how do we tackle illiteracy in Africa? Unless there are countries where illiteracy levels are way above eighty percent, we must, by all means, begin to invest in our system of education, where our education system must be practical, must solve the problems and challenges that Africa is facing. Our grading system must be changed to suit Africa, not to suit what the whole world thinks. Africa must come up with ideas on what best suits Africa. And to fight all this, we must invest in our education. We must invest in our education. Education system must provide solutions to our problems. If you have to fight, for example, cholera in most of African states, during the rainy season, cholera is rampant. We must invest in our school system, in our education system, give a challenge to our students. If you have to fight uh, cholera, if you have to fight diseases, which are transmitted because of stagnant of water. Our students must come up with solutions. We must invest in them, must bring them to the table. The governments of Africa must listen to the youth's voices. And the fight that Africa should all embrace is the fight against corruption. The Africa I want is a country a, Africa where people, the government, are accountable to the resources. Government are accountable to the people who vote them in power. In order for us to fight corruption, we must make sure that the Anti-Corruption Commission stand independent from the influence of the ruling government. We must make sure that we have within our constitution policies that allows uh, the anti-corruption to investigate even people, members of parliament, members of parliament who may be corrupt. Those institutions that look in, at corruption must be independent so that they investigate freely without the influence of the government, without the influence of anybody. The Africa we want is Africa without corruption. The Africa I want, the Africa you should want, is a Africa where there is public resources are counted. The Africa I want is where you go to the hospital, the medicine, the doctors, they are all equipped. The Africa I want is Africa where the government and the people they are ruling are all empowered. They are all living in good health. The services are variable. The Africa I want is Africa where the 75% of the population of Africa are youths. They are empowered. African governments should begin to look into the skills, the 21st century skills that us, the youths, will equip us to help us to shape the Africa we want, to shape the Africa with skills in the 21st century that Africa needs. Africa must rise and stand and bring itself to the level where the world must listen to Africa. We must not depend on head. The Africa I want is the Africa beyond head. The Africa you should want is the Africa where ourselves as Africans, we should be able to contribute to the world, not depend entirely on aid. The Africa I want is the Africa where our government one day will have 100% budget within our own countries. The Africa I want, the Africa you should want, is the Africa where youths are empowered, the retirees have paid their benefits. The Africa I want is a Africa where our hospitals, we can manufacture our medicines, we can manufacture our cars. The Africa I want is a Africa, my brothers and sisters, 
where we can make our lords ourselves. The Africa I want is the Africa where we will be able to make telecommunication phones, computers. The Africa I want is a Africa which is able to stand on its own, feed its people. The Africa I want is the Africa that is independent financially, economically. The Africa I want is the Africa where all of us as Africans, we can live in harmony, we can live in peace above terrorism, above poverty, above mediocre life. The Africa I want is the Africa where education, our education system, will be an education that will allow us to solve our problems. The Africa I want, and the Africa we should want, is the Africa that is prosperous. The Africa does, that doesn't depend on the aid from other continents. And it's high time that Africa should learn to do so. It's time to Africa. And this is the Africa I want. Thank you for listening.